6. Joshua 6, verse 20. Joshua 6 and 20. And when you have it, just say, I have it. Chapter 6 reads as follows. When the trumpet sounded, the people shouted. And at the sound of the trumpet, when the people gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. So every man charged straight in. Church, the wall I'm referring to here is, is that 
No, nobody has reached all of their goals. Why? Because there was a wall in the way that's blocking that. The wall here we, we see in Joshua wall is it, a physical wall. The, the, the wall of Jericho, which was 12 feet high. The wall of Jericho, which was made out of stones. The wall of Jericho, which was five feet thick and, and even had houses and towers built in it. But this wall also relates to the, the, the intangible walls we can't see. Come on, come on. But the good news is, church, don't you know if God can bring down a physical wall, you better believe he can take down an intangible wall as well. Sometimes we get scared when it's time to, to run our own businesses. Sometimes we get 
was a key to Joshua and Tanisha bringing down the wall of Jericho. And that's why we as a, as a society, we especially as a church, need to, to just stop belittling people. Just remember that if he brought a wall down for you before. Yes, sir. Well, you're my note, boy. You better believe he can do it again. Look at your name and say, neighbor, if he did it for you all, he can do it again and again and again.
Joshua here. You see that he wasn't going to depend on FEMA oh, oh, to, oh. to get him through the flood. He's going to depend <laughs> on the Lord. But here's what I want you to do. 
On the first day, I just want you to take the priest. I want you to take everybody in the camp and just walk around the wall. Keep your mouth shut. All right. All right. Just walk around it one time. On the second day, I want you to do the same thing. Walk around and keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word. On the third day, do the same thing. Just walk around. Stay quiet. On the fourth day, keep walking. Keep marching, but keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word. On the fifth day, what day am I on? Come on, y'all, what day am I on? The fifth day. He said, hey, keep walking around that wall. Just walk around the wall, you and the army one time. Keep your mouth closed. What day am I on now? Sixth day. I want you to walk around that wall one more time and keep your mouth closed. But on the seventh day, Joshua, I want you to walk around that wall, but I want you to blow the trumpets, and I want you to shout as loud as you can. And that wall, guess what? Came tumbling down. See, sometimes it's going to be in your shout for what God can do for you. Let me see it, guys. You all know. What's going on with the Chicago public schools right now? Yes. Oh, yeah. See, Miss Foster, they're slated to, they were they were slated to close over 100 schools. And yeah. if you all paid attention to what Brother Marvin showed us last week, he showed you that when we get an education, that is a powerful thing. And when our ancestors, that's why I'm glad that there was is lifting up our ancestors, our grandfathers. But when they came here, the first thing they said was, hey, we're going to make it illegal for you to know how to read and know how to write. If you do that, we're going to put you to death. That's why I hope my kids take advantage of the school that you in. Thank you for my clothes. Thank you, God. 
can get it for Joshua. He can do it.